Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again, and welcome back to another episode of Chat with Matt. I know it's been like a year since I did another Chat with Matt video, but the reason why I haven't been doing Chat with Matt that much is just due to the fact that I usually talk about like controversial topics that have happened, but I don't really want to be that type of channel that just talks about drama and stuff. I just come to this channel to give my opinions on new movies and games and stuff, but this one, it's, it's not going to be about that. It's going to be um, some more changes or a change that has happened to me that you probably already know that I'm going to talk about later and another change that is going to happen in the near future. And that future is probably just like a week away. Now, if you have noticed, starting in the beginning of February, I've been making a lot more videos here and not at my old house. It's due to the fact that I moved out of my new house. This is something I didn't really want to talk about until, well, I'll just explain in a minute. I had been having a great time at that house, you know, it was nice being able to live on my own, but that house wasn't mine. Like, I didn't have all that, that entire house to myself. That was a group home, and there were a lot of people that came over once in a while, people that worked there, and there were new people coming in. And when it came to those new people coming in, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to, do, to make more videos. Like, I couldn't make videos around the house, even though I really wanted to. The closest thing I could do was film videos downstairs and when people weren't awake. Um, I mostly just did videos upstairs, which is why I didn't have a lot of skits done when I was uh, in my new place. So, in the beginning of February, um, I decided to move out and uh, try to look for a new place. So, I've been living here again with my mom for like a few weeks. It's actually almost been eight weeks, so yeah. Luckily, though, we have been uh, trying to find me a new place. I was in luck because there was a place that is actually super closer to uh, to um, this place. That way, if I want to visit once in a while, I could. And it's a lot more closer to where I work. And that's the thing, too, because, again, I don't have my I don't have my license yet. There are a lot of goals that I really need to accomplish this year. And I feel like once I get my new place, I'll it'll be easier for me to, you know, actually focus on, you know, um, working on getting my driver's license because one of my big focuses was trying to find a new place. I mean, I found one like that. And uh, it's really nice, but there are two things to my new place that I needed. I needed to bring my cat because that's another thing too. My cat was not with me and a lot of the times I absolutely missed my cat, Lecter. And I just wished he was there with me. I couldn't bring any house pets with me. So, yeah, but at this new place, it's an apartment. It's really nice. It's really big. Another thing is that it's two bedroom, which is something that I really needed. I know what you're thinking. Are you going to have a roommate? No, I am not, unless you count my cat. But yeah, it will probably be the best roommate I got because it's just often times where I don't want to live with someone that I don't really know that much. Unless it's like maybe a family member or something, but yeah, I you'll see why when I do make the tour video, but I'm slowly going to move my stuff in because I'm going to have more stuff, more of my stuff that's here than ever because most of my stuff that I bought over was my uh, Blu-ray collection and all the Bluey stuff that I've been getting. If you saw my Bluey collection, you'll know that I made a pretty big one and I was only a fan for like five months. Well, let me tell you, that collection has doubled, maybe even tripled now. And I may have to make another collection video in the future. So, yeah, I didn't even have this shirt or all those other bluey shirts when I... There's actually a piece right there. But... but yeah, this is a new step forward. I didn't want to make this video until I knew for sure when I'm going to be moving out. And as far as I know, I'm going to be starting to move into my new place on April 5th. That's actually great because that's a day just before my dad's birthday. It'll actually be a whole year since the Mario movie came out. Well, time really flies, and we were already announced that the new movie's coming out soon. That movie. But bottom line is, I'm getting a new place. It should be sometime next week. And it looks really nice. We did a tour. And the best part about it is I won't have that many interruptions because nobody's going to be above me or below me. Because in the below area, it's actually a model apartment, like a demonstration, like so people can tour the apartment complex and stuff and it's at the very top floor so i will more than likely have more privacy than ever more freedom to make videos because i've rarely been able to do that many skits when i was moving into my new place when i was in my other place yeah it was nice living in, into my new place but you know i didn't want to like 
I was a little nervous though because I didn't want to come back and just due to the fact that I had a big video planned. I had two videos explaining that I was getting a new place. It was going to be a big change and I don't want to just, you know, make that just a step back and just live back in my mom's place because, yeah, I just didn't know how you guys would feel about that. So that's something I should be honest about because... You know, I'm I'm growing up now. I I am 23. I've been making videos since I was 11. So yeah, I have just I can't believe I made it this far on the internet, and I'll be able to. Yeah. Now, one thing that you have probably noticed, and I have mentioned this a lot. If you've been watching my monthly vlog series, you'll know that I've been talking about how many pounds I've lost in the past week or so. Like every week, I would talk about how many pounds I've lost in those videos. Though, I have lost 7 pounds this week. Good news though, I lost 5 more pounds. Alright, I lost 3 more pounds this week. I lost 6 pounds this week. Um, anyways, um, I lost 5 more pounds. And yeah, if you... Okay, so, this is me right now. And this is me in my review for Talk To Me. Yeah. Can you see the resemblance? Because I don't that much. <laughs> But yeah, I have been losing a lot of weight for the past uh, seven months, and it was a big change. Um, I started uh, exercising a lot in 2014. Um, I was at 220, then I dropped down to like 180. So yeah, in 2015, late 2015, I just stopped working out. And not only did I gain all that weight back, but I like tripled that amount. And yeah, I looked way worse, and I had that weight on for ever since 2019. And I knew I had to lose some more weight, because every time I look at myself in my videos now, I'm all like, man, I used to look so much better. And in 2019, when I weighed myself, I was over 300 pounds. I was all like, man, how did... And yeah, 2016 wasn't really like the best year for me, so yeah, but... That was probably the least, well, I wouldn't say the least of my problems because it's not, it, it's not healthy for me to be over 300 pounds. So, yeah, I knew I had to make that change and I was under 300, but I didn't lose any more weight after that, though I could have because I was inside because it was 2020 and I couldn't really do a whole lot in 2020. But, yeah, there were some movies I watched that made me uh, inspire myself to want to lose more of that weight. But I wasn't truly inspired until seeing The Whale, just due to the fact that close to the end where Brendan Fraser ate those two whole things of pizza. Yeah, I stayed away from pizza for quite a while because that was probably one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. I still get bad memories of that. Like, I have cut out... Okay, so, in August of 2023, I bought a costume off the internet and I wasn't entirely sure if it was my size. So before it arrived, I immediately knew that I had to drop some weight. I checked my weight. It was I was 279. So I started walking around the neighborhood. And uh, yeah, um, I lost 10 pounds total when I was... So I lost 7 pounds during my first week, 2 pounds during next, and uh, 1 pound for... So yeah, it, it wasn't working that much. So I knew I had to boost up. I got a gym membership. I also bought over my exercise bike, which I've had for a while. That works really well. And then I started drinking Celsius, which does manage to help out a lot. Sure, it may have caffeine in it, but I was, it helped me a lot. I drank it almost every day, just once a day. And it really did help, help out a lot. My dad actually got me hooked on it. So yeah, I started going to the gym once, once or twice a week. I started using my exercise bike a lot. In total, I probably have more than like over 100 or 200 hours of exercise. Also, I have an elliptical right there, so in case I wanted to work out over here. And there were a lot of things I cut out of my diet. I cut out a lot of fast food because I watched Super Size Me and I'm probably never going to have McDonald's again. Though I might, just not once in a while. I cut out a lot of desserts. I lowered the amount of calories I had, though two 2,000 calories is perfectly right for for a normal day of eating. And the only, like, big meals I had were during Thanksgiving, and I only had one piece of pumpkin pie. Hell, for Halloween, the only piece of candy I had was an M&M, and that's it. So, yeah, if you, if you noticed in a lot of my videos, I did eat quite a bit on camera. 
but mostly just for skits. So I did, uh, I did uh, eat in my, uh, some of my other videos as well. But, and as it stands right now, as of March of 2024, I went from 279 to 176, which actually isn't even normal for my, for, because of how tall I am, it's actually not, it, it's sort of normal, but there are times where my mom just told me to just slow down on the exercise. And yeah, yeah, I have been slowing down on exercise because I don't really need to do it that much anymore. But you know, because I haven't been eating a whole lot, I have, uh, I don't know. I've been having a little bit of health issues. Um, it's not, it's not a, it's not something super big, but I do need to eat more. So sometimes I will splurge once in a while. Though I haven't started doing that yet, but when I, when I, like, I cut out a lot of things. Okay. I cut out pizza. I cut out sugar. I cut out sodas. Like, I haven't had soda in seven months. I cut out fast food, like a lot of the fried stuff, a lot of desserts, hot dogs, and just, yeah, it was, it was really hard, but I managed to get this far, so, yeah, and I exercised so much, I do not know how I was able to have all that energy, but, yeah, I just watched the calories, and boom, just like that, sometimes I'll have protein shakes, I'll, for breakfast, I'll have Cheerios or Special K, I always like to plan out my, uh, my, uh, health, right, like my, uh, like my nutrition, in uh, different ways, so, yeah, also, if you'll notice, the, you remember when I dressed like Leon Kennedy, and that jacket, it could never close. I could never shut that jacket. But about a, about a while after I started losing weight, it started to fit. And as it stands right now, I'm able to zip that jacket all the way up. So yeah, that I really accomplished a lot. So yeah, a lot of my shirts, well, just look at this. Like, I am not able to fit that shirt anymore. A lot of my shirts haven't been able to fit, so I had to downgrade. I did have a bigger version of the shirt, but now I had to go for, with a lot of, with a little smaller size. So I could have gotten smaller because just look at this. Look at this. This is <laughs> yeah. So I used to be an XL, but now I'm a large. Though from the looks of it, I might be a medium. So yeah, the fact that I managed to get this far, and unlike last time, I plan to keep this weight off because I'm proud of the way I look now. Uh, well, almost. Um. But um, my skin just has to tone down. But yeah, but but I still managed to lose quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I have been fat shamed in the past. Sometimes I still have been. And uh, yeah, but for all you guys out there who are struggling with your weight, I feel like uh, if I manage to lose it, then I feel, have a feeling you can too. Because yes, I struggled a lot. Yes, there are times where I wanted to quit. I've done that so many times where. I tried losing weight, but then I quit. I tried again, quit. Tried to quit, but now that I made it this far, anybody can really do it. And I'm proud of the way I look now. I'm uh, like, I feel like my belt is just getting bigger every day. That's what it feels like. I had so much more energy when I was at GalaxyCon. And uh, yeah, that, that costume that I was wearing at GalaxyCon didn't even fit me all that much anymore either. So yeah, I've gotten new shirts, and um, I might be shrinking out of those, but yeah. I have lost over 100 pounds, 103 to be exact. I don't need to exercise as much. I am still watching what I eat, though. There are times where when I, when I went to the movies, I would always get the largest bucket of popcorn and just eat all that up, and that's not good for me. Sometimes I'll get, ca sometimes I'll get candy, too, and the largest soda ever. But, yeah, that was basically, like, a whole meal of calories. Like, basically, the amount of calorie, calories. So, yeah, it was, it was bad for me. But, when I go to the movies now, when I do get popcorn, I usually get a small, and I'm not able to finish it anymore. Like, I don't know how, like, when I saw Killers of the Flower Moon, I had a medium-sized uh, popcorn, and I only finished, like, half of it. And there are times where, like, when I went to go see A Quiet Place Part 2, which was way shorter, I just, I ate all that popcorn up, and, yeah, it's, yeah, I, probably just, like, 20 minutes before the movie was over, so, yeah, it's, uh, there are times where I just felt like, I don't know how I did it, but I did, so, yeah, but as I've grown, I, uh, I know exactly, um, how to, handle this because I was afraid that 
one of these days I wouldn't last long due to my weight, but I'm here now, and I lost all this weight. I do need to start eating more because, well, my mom honestly says I'm too skinny now, and even some other people have said that I don't need to lose any more weight. And yeah, they're probably right. Because I just want to live as long as possible on this planet, unless I get mugged or something. <laughs> Not trying to scare you or anything like that, but I'm, I'm just saying. So yeah, big step up. I'm getting a brand new place. It's going to look super nice. I'm going to make it look as good as possible. Nobody can interrupt me, though some people will visit once in a while just to see how I'm doing. But yeah, I'm able to afford all that. And uh, yeah, just with, with you guys' support, I can still keep going on this channel. Yeah, I explain it a lot more in my uh, my uh, my monthly vlog. So yeah, but I'm putting all this on here as well. So uh, yeah, but anyways, yeah, I honestly expected this video to be longer, but it is, it, it, it isn't too long, but it will be if I could. <laughs> okay, so yeah, bottom line is, I'm getting a new place. Um, it will be on April 5th. Though it might be a while before I get all that stuff in. Because I got a lot of stuff to bring up. And it's going to be like three flights of stairs. And yeah, some of the stuff is going to be pretty heavy. So yeah. Um, for these posters, I might have to take them with me. Those Amiibos I want to take. I, I didn't have them with me. Um, that Pickle Rick over there. Uh, a bunch of my Morgana plush toys. My Tom and Jerry collection. A lot of those are going to be with me. Um... So yeah, it's going to be quite a struggle, but it's going to be worth it. I have accomplished a new goal. I don't have to worry about this too much anymore. So yeah, I am not going to keep this video on forever because I have to see Pooh Blood and Honey 2 in a little bit. So yeah, I'm just going to take care of that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for your support. Hopefully I'll be able to make more skit videos and uh, a lot more uh, be able to be more free because... Well, when I was living here, I, it was hard for me to make videos because of the dogs, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to the new place. In the meantime, I'll still have more videos out over here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.